All right, here goes nothing, Abby. We're hopefully gonna record this for you. So I'm gonna go up here and hopefully you can see the web assigned screen there. And so let's see here. It, we're looking at problem number eight. It says find the specified term of the geometric sequence with the following properties. The first three terms are, and then find the ninth term. So a sub one is one half, a sub two is negative three halves, a sub three is nine halves, and we wanna find a sub nine. This is a geometric sequence, so we're gonna use the formula a sub n equals a sub one times r to the n minus one power. All right. Now I'm gonna go back to my work screen. So we need to find the ninth term of a geometric sequence. We know the first three terms. We can find R, that is the common ratio, by taking any term in the sequence and dividing it by the previous term. So I'm gonna take A sub two and divide it by A sub one but that would be equal to negative three halves times the reciprocal of one half, which would be two over one, which is negative three. So R, my common ratio is negative three. If I'm not certain, I could double check that. I could take A sub three divided by A sub two, which is nine halves divided by negative three halves, or nine halves divided by two over negative three, which is nine over negative three, which again, is negative three. So I've established the common ratio is negative three. Now I'm going to take this formula and I'm going to put in a sub nine equals a sub one, which is a half, times r, which is negative three, times n minus one. In this case, since we're finding the ninth term, n is oops, nine. So that's supposed to be a nine minus one. So I've got one half times negative three to the eighth power. Now, on my calculator, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna say parentheses, negative three, close it up to the eighth power, and I get 6,561, okay? Times a half would be 6,000, 561 over two. So 6,561 over two is a sub nine. And again, be careful, you've got to put parentheses around the negative three before you raise it to the eighth power. Okay, that was problem number eight. Next on the list was problem number 10. So let's go back and look at problem number 10. It says, insert three positive geometric means between five and 1280. So A sub one is five. We're gonna submit or insert three positive geometric means. So I'm gonna insert A sub two, A sub three, and A sub four. And then a sub five is the given 1280. Okay, so, and we're supposed to find those. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to my work screen. I know the first term, I know the last term, and we're gonna submit three positive geometric means. So I'm gonna use the formula a sub n equals a sub one, times r to the n minus one power. And let's see, I know that a sub five is a sub one, which is five times r to the n minus one power, so to the five minus one power. So a sub five equals five r to the fourth. But I also know that a sub five equals 1,280. I wrote that incorrectly. Sorry about that. Let me go back and fix that. 
it's 1280. Okay, that doesn't change anything. We hadn't gotten there yet. Yes, that's correct. Now, since a sub five equals that and a sub five equals that, we can say five r to the fourth equals 1280. All right, divide both sides by five and r to the fourth equals, let's see here, we've got 1280 divided by five is 256. So now I've got to figure out what times itself, times itself, times itself is 256. Well, and I could experiment. I could try one times one times one times one and two times two, et cetera, et cetera. And doing that, I think I come up with four. Let's see, four to the fourth power. Yes, it's going to be four. So four times four times four times four is 256. So R equals four. Now that I know the common ratio, I can go back here and fill in my missing terms. If a sub one is five, a sub two would be five times the common ratio, which is 20. A sub three would be 20 times the common ratio, which is 80. A sub four is 80 times the common ratio, which is 320. And if I've done this correctly, a sub five should be 320 times four. And I see that it is. So there are my three geometric means between 5 and 1280. Okay, now we're going to go back and look at problem number 11. And that says, find four geometric means between 4 and 128. Okay, so a sub 1 is four, I'm supposed to have, let's see, four geometric means between four and 128. So I've got a sub two, a sub three, a sub four, a sub five, and then a sub six is 128. Again, I've got four in the middle that are missing. So now I'm gonna go back and to my work screen. And I'm going to use the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 r to the n minus 1. And let's see. I know that a sub 6 is a sub 1, which is 4 times r to the 6 minus 1 power, which is 4 r to the fifth. So a sub 6 is 4 r to the fifth. But I also know that a sub 6 is 128. Therefore, 4 r to the fifth equals 128. Divide both sides by 4, r to the fifth equals 32. Well, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32, so r equals 2. Okay, so if a sub 1 is 4, a sub 2 is 4 times the common ratio of 2, which is 8. a sub 3 is 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32, 32 times 2 is 64, 64 times 2 is 128. So here are your four geometric means. All right, well, hopefully that takes care of it for you. So I'm going to stop recording this video.